Hey friends, Joe the Farmer here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a problem we're having with our pond. So we've done a couple of videos on pond maintenance and this one's a new one, so I figured we'd share it with you. So we have an issue right now with what's called planktonic algae. And planktonic algae, which again, I'm not a biologist, but I'm pretty confident that's what this is. This is an algae that sits on top of the surface. We're not forming algae mats, but it's not very sightly. It's not really what you wanna have in a pond, but it almost kind of swirls. And you can see where there's like little pieces of it and it breaks up when you mess with it. Um, and that's just algae coming to the top of the surface. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I wanna show you some tools that we bought that we think are very effective and I'm warning you, this may be triggering because a lot of people have issues with anyone treating their ponds. This is on my private property, it's my private pond. This is not gonna go into your water supply. So if you think that this product's gonna kill somebody, <laughs> then. That's kind of your journey, but we've done this many, many times, and I'm gonna show you the product we're gonna use, which is extremely helpful, and then I'm gonna show you the, the coolest setup ever that we've actually designed just for taking care of this pond. So this is easily available on Amazon. It's called Captain XTR. It's by a company called Seapro. They have an entire website where you can go on there, figure out what chemicals are gonna do the best for different kinds of algae. Captain XTR kills all of it, and it's gonna be perfectly fine, won't hurt the fish, it's copper, liquefied copper, but listen, I know there's a lot of comments of people saying, you know, this blue stuff is just killing the environment. It's hurting the fish. Copper is natural. It's, it's not gonna go kill all the fish. I've done this many times. If we don't do this, the algae gets out of control and then we kill it, that will kill the fish because it'll bottom out the oxygen in the lake. Let me show you the setup. So I don't know if this is the midlife crisis mobile or what, but this is an Argo Frontier. 700 scout this is an amphibious side by side that rides all around the farm it will really just about go anywhere and i'm going to take this thing drive it right into the lake i'm going to spray the pond with this sprayer i put half the probably a gallon and a quarter in here the rest water now we all know safety sam is always present so we're going with the stars and bars uh life preserver just in case something happens you never know if I fall out of the Argo, I'm going to be safe. So uh, let's get in there. Now, one thing I want you to know, too, is that half of the lake is going to be very silty and muddy. The other half is a lot deeper. This machine is really cool because it will drive over the muddy parts, whereas a trolling motor or something in a boat would, would fail, and it will float over the deeper parts. And it's probably overkill, but overkill seems to get the job done. So let's do it. You can kind of get a really good idea of how this algae can kind of just take over and just by doing a little bit of work you know a little bit of effort a little bit of chemicals it really kind of knocks it back at least mother nature always wins but this will absolutely be a tremendous help especially in the spring when the spring comes up because all this algae We'll kill this stuff and then it falls to the bottom of the water and we'll hit it with some Fosilock, which is another chemical that uh, the Fosilock will adhere to the dead algae. And the theory is, is that it keeps it from trying to come back. So. crazy thing about this and the easiest thing about this is that I don't have to lift a boat gosh that, that used to be a drag having to flip that big I don't know five six hundred pound aluminum boat over and get the trolling motor and the battery and all this stuff and then paddling everywhere and the trolling motor be dead and I don't know this makes it really easy you don't need a setup like this I'm not sitting here trying to sell you all an Argo it is, uh, it's probably the last machine you'd want to buy on a farm. You already have your tractor, you've got some side-by-sides, maybe even a golf cart or electric side-by-sides to kind of get around without the carburetors and not having to use fuel. But if you have a pond, this is handy, I'm not gonna lie. The Argo did its job. So again, um, 
a little bit overkill. You could do this with a backpack spray. You could do it very low tech, very inexpensively. You know, we're trying to figure out a way to make this place very manageable for two people, husband and wife for, you know, hopefully into our 80s and 90s, maybe even at 100, I don't know. But this tool helps a lot. I've already washed it off. Um, this Captain XTR is corrosive. So, you know, just even floating around with it, a lot of this is plastic and synthetic, but you know, you just wanna make sure you clean stuff off, take good care of it, rinse all this stuff out. It's ready to fight another day or to take this out and let the kids sit in here and go float around in the water, which is a lot of fun. So I wanted to do a follow-up to give you guys an idea of how this treatment worked. And as you can probably see and hear by the crunching of the leaves under my feet, it's like somebody hit a switch. It's been two weeks and fall just happened. It just, <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. Mother nature is relentless when it comes to weather change, but I do want to show you the lake and you're going to see a bluish kind of color. Again, I've had a lot of comments on how you don't like the color of the lake. I agree with you 100%. We're going to fix that in a future video. So no worries about the blue, but this stuff is actually getting kind of hard to find. So I got to kind of settle with this one and it does have too much of like an emerald color to it, but we're going to fix it. But look at how clear this water is. Let's walk down here to the water line. And you can just get an idea of how crystal clear that is. Remember the planktonic algae that was in here, all that dusty kind of particle looking stuff? It's all gone now. And now we just have a beautiful crystal clear lake. So we really need rain. You see how high the dock is. I mean, we're, we're probably about a foot and a half low on the water here, but that's not unusual. It'll come around. We'll get some rain eventually. And you can see all the leaves have come off the trees. I mean, fall is 100% here. So anyway. I wanted to show you guys what this looks like, and that Captain XTR really does a good job. And the Argo, as I said in the video, it may be a little bit overkill, but man, it makes it a lot easier to get that chemical in this water. So, beautiful fall day. So I appreciate you watching this video. Hope to catch you in the next one. We have a lot of lake stuff that we're starting to do, and you guys seem to enjoy it, so we'll keep doing it. If you have any questions specifically about like, treating something in a lake or what you guys are running into, let me know. Uh, I enjoy getting back and forth and you know talking with folks about what's going on out here, but we've had to learn this the hard way. You buy a piece of property and has a big body of water. I mean, this is, it's about four acres. If you go through the entire thing, it's a, it's a big body of water and you just have to learn how to take care of it. And it's expensive to hire somebody else to do it. So, you know, these are, these are tricks we've learned. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, hit that subscribe button, come back and see us. And I hope to get you the next one, Joe the Farmer. We out.